Yo, what's up everybody? Your boy Rushy here, and today we're gonna be taking a look at two pops. Today we're gonna be taking a look at the Weekend All Might and Shoto Aizawa in his hero costume pops. These are two of the latest pops from the My Hero Academia series. Um, in my opinion, they went hard with these ones. Like they went super hard, they're crazy, all of them. This Aizawa is actually a Hot Topic exclusive. Um, so it's different from the Aizawa that's in the normal series. I'm gonna show you guys here. Hopefully you guys can see that. That this is a totally different Aizawa. Now, I got lucky and managed to scoop these up at a convention. A lot of people don't even have them in stock yet. Um, but when you go to cons, you get lucky and you find stuff. They had the, um, the Toroki Shoto one, which is the one I really want. And they kept selling out. Every time somebody put them out, immediately it was gone. So I didn't manage to pick that one up, but I have it on pre-order. So once that one comes in, I'll be doing a review on that one and probably sue you at the same time. But yeah, I have the normal All Might pop. So I'm looking forward to putting him next to the Weekend All Might because I, I, they did a really good job. And shout out to Funko, they've been stepping it up with the sculptures lately. It's not, they're not so basic anymore, but they're actually putting some more time and effort into it. But yeah, let's go ahead and open them up and take a look and see what we got. Okay, so both of these pops are on the larger side. I wasn't expecting them to be that big, uh, but I don't mind. I actually enjoy the larger size on the pops. Like I said, the sculptures on both of them are very good. So with that being said, let me start by talking about All Might. The All Might sculpture, they did a really good job on. Uh, they nailed his lethargic look and even in his face, you can see they added the rivet to make his cheeks look sunken in. The, you know, the heavy black shadow around his eyes. So it really, he really does look like how he does in the anime. Comparing it to the standard All Might pick pop that I have, they're about the same size really well done and the hair color on the weekend all might i like better it's not as muted as it was on the previous all might pop a little detail here on the bangs on the weekend all might i have noticed this i looked at a few of the different boxes so be careful some like on a few of them the the bangs look like they're poorly placed but that's about it you can just see a teeny bit of glue poking out but not a big deal there as far as Aizawa goes, I love the detail that they put into the hair on the sculpture. It's really dynamic. I'm enjoying the his, his glasses that he wears. And the pose itself is dynamic with the scarf being in full motion. It's, it's flowy, doesn't look stiff. So really, really well done on, on both of these. Like I said, there are a few more coming out. The Suyu is already out. I've seen there's a training Midoriya, the Shoto. Todoroki one which is probably gonna be the most popular one and the hardest one to get but yeah if you have any questions about these or any of the figures you saw behind me at the beginning of the video feel free to ask and I'll answer to the best of my ability make sure to give me a like and a subscribe if you enjoyed this video and follow me on Instagram at your boy Roshi that's all I got for you guys today hope you have a great day or night whatever time you're watching this and I'll catch you guys next time